Yes, uh, I'm the governor of West Java. West Java is what we call it the 20% of Indonesia. Uh, the size is so big, it's twice the size of Australian population. I'm managing 50 million people uh, into 27 cities. Every day I have to make sure these 50 million uh, have a good access to education, healthcare, uh, connectivity. We are also uh, number one in investment destinations every year uh, because our infrastructure, infrastructure is um, relatively much better comparatively to other province. From 100% uh, industry in Indonesia, 60% alone located in my province. Uh, economic growth is quite strong. We grow 5.1%. Uh, economy is good, uh, but the challenge for us is how I can uh, help the poor side of my society. That's why inclusive economy also part of my uh, priorities. Uh, we need at least uh, 60 billion US dollar uh, infrastructure, so big. Uh, if we use only our annual budgets, maybe it takes 20 years to achieve this kind of uh, needs. Yeah? Therefore, we look for PPP model, public-private partnership. We look for municipal bond uh, kind of concept also to finance our projects. We find any banks that can loan to the institution, uh, government like us. So number one, uh, I have five uh, strategy. Number one is uh, infrastructure economy. So we need to build more toll roads per toll road. Uh, I think it's like uh, 3 billion uh, US dollars, for example. We need to build more railways. Yeah. Uh, next year, we will finish high-speed train connecting Jakarta to Bandung. will be finished, creating also opportunities, but we need to build more 3 to 4 uh, railway-based kind of infrastructures. Uh, we need to build more two airports, for example. Second strategy is a green and sustainable inf uh, economy. Uh, we need to build, uh, need investor to build waste to energy. Uh, we are building now uh, starting facilities to transform plastic into green fuel to make sure Indonesia, at least West Java, no longer as uh, one of the biggest polluter of plastic to oceans. We are building a wind turbine uh, technology uh, with Masdar, for example, company from Abu Dhabi. We are building solar farm floating on the water. The third one, inclusive economy. We are focusing on the fintech to make sure accessibility of capital can access the poor side of society, the remote side of society using this inclusive concept. Uh, the fourth one is digital economy. In the last 12 months, we changed the society and economy so big using digital. And last one, given our uh, beautiful landscape, I'm also focusing on the tourism economy. 80% of incoming investors mostly coming from East Asian countries. Uh, Japan, Singapore, South Korea, China, less from Australia. So I think uh, Australia need to see our bright future because if everything okay, uh, politically conducive, uh, economy we can keep 5% every year, we could be the fourth biggest economy in the next 20 to 25 years. So who benefit and become the partner? I'm hoping more from Australian side. So the reason I come because uh, Victorian governor came to West Java, Lord Mayor of Melbourne also came to Bandung. So I think uh, we would like to see more uh, enterprises, businesses from at least Victoria uh, region coming to West Java. Uh, you have to understand we have a, a bless of democracy like Western democracy. So people like me uh, can be elected for five and up to ten years. So it means uh, we will have a stability in, in, in political and democracy. So we are hoping uh, Australia need to understand more that West Java or Indonesia is beyond Bali. So I'm hoping West Java could be the doors, the home of future Australian investment. So be part of our bright future. Because in the next 20 years, Indonesia is the only country we, that have 70% uh, of its population is a productive age. 
Uh, that's why human capital development is important. That's why university in Australia come to Indonesia. The government now relax the policy. You can open university now in Indonesia. So, and Monash University taking this uh, uh, policy seriously. I think next year they open the Monash University in Jakarta. Many East Asian is knocking my door every week, literally, but less from Australia. In Indonesian standard, if you come to PPP directly, uh, it takes time, of course, to have a bidding process and due diligence. But if you partner directly with the local company that owned by government, actually you don't need a bidding. So the way I do it now is PPP is I ask the state-owned company to start the projects and partners uh, with any international investor. By having this policy of asking the state-owned company as a, a project uh, leader, uh, then you don't need the six month or one year bidding process because it's just a partner B2B kind of model. So I'm using the second door. If you want to have a quick project in West Java, just come to me. I will give you this option of partnering with state-owned company and you can do your own standard of international like uh, the, the profitability uh, uh, percentage and all these Australian standards should be easily implemented in West Java. Why, why bother making an effort with Australian companies though or Western companies if you do have so many others knocking on your door and we know that other money is going into Indonesia? I think also I, have, uh, I need to balance the geopolitical dimensions of my economy. Uh, as I said, 80% coming from our Asia, but less from Australia. And when I see some of Australian uh, people really have a little understanding about his, uh, its biggest neighbor, for example, because as I said, when we become the fourth largest economy, I think Australia should be the first partner uh, to Indonesia. And to achieve that vision, uh, I need to open communication more instead of inviting uh, to come to West Java also. I have to come like this and have some discussion uh, that Indonesia now is uh, a very uh, fruitful uh, region for engaging in economy. Well, we'd love to keep track of your progress on that. And, and not to forget, uh, we are opening the first cafe of West Java. Uh, Jabarano it's called 100% uh, uh, of West Java coffee it's a gesture for me to say that uh, at least I have some presence also in Australian economy that's a good point you're trying to increase people to people relationships and what better way to do that than through coffee a coffee diplomacy. shop in, in Melbourne <laughs> coffee diplomacy well congratulations on that thank front you. and thank you very much for your time today Okay. thank you very much see you in West Java